made it to Flinders Ranges finally after four or five days on the road absolutely pouring down rain every day and because it's been pouring down every rain every day we went to the information center thought we'll have a look at what tour is available and uh, tracks and things that we want to see and everything's shut so we can't do anything so we took a drive up to Blinman today had a pie had a bit of a look around um, saw a few lookouts which is pretty cool but um, the fog was heavy the rain was heavy couldn't see anything at any of the lookouts um, everything's shut so we're just evaluating what we're going to do but check out this view so right behind us there you go epic mountain range and we're right up the top of the hill so it's pretty sweet so finally the winds died down a little bit it stopped raining found some friends we're having some beers so it's having some good times <clears throat> also first casualty of the trip smash this so I did a uh, creek crossing and absolutely smashed that so that's got to come off I don't know if I'm going to keep that because it obviously smashed there and smashed on this side like I've obviously scraped it pretty hard so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that on but um, yeah other than that van's going pretty good we're working out how everything works it was our first real trip away um only done like an overnight here and there so this is the first real you know few weeks at a time so everything's going good heat is probably the best feature of the van so far because it is cold as you can see i'm pretty rugged up so we'll see how things go all right so we've spent uh, about a week on the road now um some of it's been at caravan parks so powered and watered um some of it is free camping or uh not plugged into anything so what are the things that we love best about the van i reckon the best things about this van are instant hot water what do you reckon yes um gas heating definitely good we've Can banked Sorry, can you yeah. tell that we're in a cold climate right now? Because the top two things are about heat. <laughs> yeah, it is freezing. It's like six degrees every day. We're in Flinders Ranges. Um, so yeah, instant hot water. So in about eight seconds or ten seconds, we get boiling hot water, which is great. Um, we've got some friends that are using a um, older system that's not instant. So they've got 28 litres of water that takes them one to three hours to heat up. Once it's gone, it's gone. Ours is just on. As long as you've got gas and you've got water, it's on. So that's great. Um, <clears throat> next thing is uh, airbag suspension. So um, it's great to tow, but the best thing is, like we've pulled up to a site tonight and it's on a bit of a hill. Um, pump one side up, let one side down. We're flat and level, so it's great. Um, the other thing is, um, not that we've got it tonight, but um, when we've got reception, Having Netflix on or internet, I know you sort of camp to get away from it all, but sometimes it's great for the kids. Or um, it's at night, kids are in bed, and you want to put a movie on. Um, it's it's really good. So um, so far, they're the favourite things about this van. Um, also, we've um, had a pretty overcast day today. Van's on ninety two percent. Um, this, this morning when we left that was on 81% so we switched everything off um, it was a fairly overcast day and it still pumped it up so um, doesn't look like a lot but when you got 440 amp hours you know an extra 10% that's you know putting 40 amps in or 40, 40 amp hours in or so so it's a fair bit for a fairly cloudy day so pretty happy with that um, so we don't have to really worry about conserving power too much at this stage so um, yeah Pretty good, pretty happy. After a couple of cold days sitting around doing nothing, we decided to get out and have a look around. So we found that uh, there was only one road that was open to any traffic if you had a four wheel drive, which was the Morilana Scenic Drive. This travels between the Elder Range and Wilpena Pound 
and it was a fantastic little drive so the views were fantastic we saw heaps of animals and um, it gave us something to do for the morning and then we um, headed up to Parachilna for lunch. fun playing so it's been really nice it's a nice little stop off point um, and a great spot for lunch if you're around the view here was absolutely amazing but it was so windy I could not get the drone to fly straight I tried for ages and it kept on getting blown away and um, I struggled to get it back a few times because it just didn't have the power to go against the wind. So this is the best we got. What have you found, Mia? Some rocks. I have this one. Mm. I have this one. I have this one. And I have the two colored rock. So, the, this is my rock. I think it, it looks a bit like mm. the ocean, so I got it. Where was my other one? Can we take it home? <laughs> <laughs> and this was the And this was the really cool one. That's all. So we are now driving back over towards Blinman um, and we have stopped at the Parachilna Gorge. So it's really hard to see because it's so massive. But so amazing in here and there's so many beautiful colored river stones here they look absolutely stunning so it's been really nice we've just had a quick stop had a look around girls have loved finding some rocks and um, now we're going to get back in the car and keep on driving but we're really loving all the scenery today and the sun shining and lighting up the beautiful colors of all the rocks um, yeah it's been great
together behind the car. Because <laughs> you're on my side. Where are we? Um, we're at the Great Wall of China. Ooh, what do you think? Um, it's um, long. My dad. <laughs> so what do you think? What do you think? A mom. All right. Um, what about you, Gracie? Uh, I think it's um, like small at the start and big at the um, middle. So we have just come back from Blinman and some of the cloud and fog has lifted. As we were driving back we saw that we could see the Great Wall of China. So we have stopped for a bit of a look. Brett's going to try and chuck up the drone, see if we can get some footage but it's a bit windy so not sure how the drone's going to go but we'll give it a go. Backing up from Rawnsley Park Station at Flinders Ranges. It's absolutely been icy cold. It's been about eight degrees every day and it's been windy as hell. All the tracks have been shut, all the gorges are shut. So I think we've missed out on a fair bit, but we've still managed to um, fill the time in and, and do some bits and pieces and see some sights, which has been good. Um, there is a lot of rain predicted coming in another day or two. Um, they're saying like, you know, all of winter's rain is coming to the middle of Australia for um, in you know three days so we're getting out of here so we're going to start heading towards broken hill we'll see some sights there and we'll just um, evaluate things when we get there <laughs> 